Good day modelers. This is another video showing my design effort to get a retractable landing gear system into the brand new Grumman Albatross from Avios through Hobby King. What you see here is a fuselage and wing set that Ian from Hobby King sent me to help me with the design process and I have 3D printed a number of parts, a well, the landing gear struts, some other miscellaneous things that may or may not be 3D printed in the final version. Certainly many of these things will have to be aluminum or steel to take the landing loads. But the design incorporates a standard 90 degree retract up in the wing that drives this link and the wheel close to the well. And I say close because it does not get all the way in with a 90 degree servo with the geometry that I've chosen. I need some help to get the wheel in the rest of the way. So the 90 degree servo pulls the wheel in that far. I have to drive these lower struts in the rest of the way to get the wheel up in the well. I do that this way. You can see buried inside the well a slider that has a magnet on it right here and then there's a magnet on the strut. When the wheel goes all the way up the magnet attaches to the magnet on the strut and then a servo will pull the wheel in the rest of the way. When you want to extend the landing gear the servo will push the landing gear out to where it needs to be, out over center, past over center, and then the retract can easily overcome the magnetic force of the slider. See that again. Up, strut attaches to the slider, and then the slider, excuse me, I got a little problem once in a while with angle because of the sloppiness, but you can see that it draws the wheel in. This wheel is a little bit undersized. I don't have a proper, proper uh, 68 to 70 millimeter wheel. Uh, right now I've got them on order. Push it out. Then the gear extends. Okay, let's see that one more time. The landing gear retracts. Lower strut hits the magnet. And the magnet pulls the wheel in. Servo pushes the system out, gets it out beyond over center, and the landing gear can overcome the magnet and drive it out. On the final version, all this will be done with a sequencer. The sequencer, when the retracts are down, will drive the retract first then once after a few seconds to assure that it's up against the magnet, a sequencer will drive the secondary servo that will pull the slider in and retract the landing gear the remainder of the way. The sequencer will work backwards once it's ready to be extended. In other words, the, servo, the sequencer will command the servo to drive the landing gear out and then the retract will rotate through 90 to bring the wheel down and locked. More as it happens.